Hey there, art fans. Steve Harpster here. And today I'm going to be creating animal jump scares. Now, don't worry, it's not going to be too scary. It's it's just sort of like a little, bah, like a little shock. For example, I have a couple that I've already done, and let's see what those look like. One thing I do want to caution you with this video, there is some strobing light. So if you're very sensitive to that, I don't want you watching this video. So here we have a cute little critter and uh, just sort of animate it coming closer to the screen, you know, just uh, have it come a little bit close. Oh, even a little, little blink there. Did you see that? Little hee hee. But then what happens is jump scare. So let's see this in full animation. Just, I didn't want to scare one right off the bat. I know I have young viewers and I, this isn't going to be scary. It's, it's funny. So here we go. Yeah. <laughs> jump scare. Ah! Here we go. We got a cute little piggy. Look at this pig. He's so cute. Oh, little chubby little pig. What happens with this one? Let's see. Ah! Ah! <laughs> so if we look at this, we slow it down, we look at it, comes closer to the screen and then morphs into this. I love the bat ears that this character has. That's pretty cool. The nose also kind of looks like bat wings. Yeah. And of course, just the razor sharp teeth. I am going to spin the wheel and whatever I land on, that animal is going to be my next jump scare. So we spin the wheel. Our first jump scare animal. A cat, okay, that works. So an easy way to draw a cat is to start with the nose, just draw letter Y. We'll put some little eyes right there. And we can put get a little, little smile, sides of the cat's face. And then we'll add the body. We're gonna make this like a big fluffy cat. Add a tail, and this cat barely has any feet. Yeah, it's one of those sort of fat kitty cats. So key is to make it cute, because then we're going to turn this into a very scary looking cat here in a little bit. What else? Should I add some whiskers? Oh, I'm going to add a little detail here to the top of the ears. And try the whiskers. I feel like the uh, mouth might have a little... Let's see if we can do a better mouth. That kind of looks more like a cat face. I mean, I always, when I see cats, they don't look like they're smiling. So, and this one is going to be scaring us. So maybe this one's not sure of what's going on. Okay, so time to animate this, this jump scare. Take this character and start the transformation into a scary character. Um, wobbly fur. This is where it gets fun because you start seeing what you can do with this. Then you kind of play it back and forth, see how that works. Let's see. <laughs> okay, and then on to the next frame. Look at those eyes. Whoosh, whoosh. That's pretty scary already. Jeez. Am I going too far with this? This is kind of yee. I love it. This is looking great. Okay, that's what we have so far. That's pretty, that's pretty evil looking. Definitely scary. Poor little cat. Okay, so let's check it out. Our first jump scare, kitten jump scare. Meow. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, that works. Yeah, so you have to have that little pause where it's just like, just meow, meow. And then right into just a little pause right into the creepy looking cat character. Okay, let's spin the wheel for the next jump scare. <laughs> and right next to cat, we have. Oh, panda. You can't do a jump scare with a panda. Yeah, pandas could be the cutest animals in the world. Uh, let's see. Jump scare with the panda. I'm going to use number 101. Add some eyes here. Little panda nose right there. I <laughs> like at this face already. Oh, it's too cute. And let's draw the top of the head. We'll just round that. And then add little panda ears, nose, and then the body, an arm here, 
One right here. It's looking pretty cute. Uh, sometimes. Yeah, we got to add those colors around the eyes. And is that what a panda looks like? I think it needs cleaned up a bit. It looks a little, little jarring here in the face, but that's okay because we'll go to the next layer, we have the onion skin. Now I can go in here and make it look a little better. That was just my rough idea. And I want the, I want them to have not quite such a smile. Just bring this around for the body. And this here. Okay, and I'm just gonna fill in some of the areas with the gray and white. Yeah, there's no way you could turn this, this cute little panda into a jump scare. It's just too adorable. This is gonna be disturbing, trying to turn a panda into something not cute, because this guy is very cute. I think I'm gonna just go right into the scary. Yeah, let's just go right into a scary character. So have some evil eyebrows. And then I think a really evil toothy smile. That will really make this character pop. And of course, we need to make the teeth like just nasty. I imagine real pandas have pretty sharp teeth. I don't think they'd probably look this gross, but did you know that pandas aren't actually bears? They're actually related to more uh, raccoons than they are bears. So they're just called panda bears, but they're not really, they're not really part of the bear family. Okay, those are some nasty teeth. A lot of snarl here in the face. And <laughs> I love it. This is creepy. Look at that. Whoosh, go from that to this. Ah, rat. That's already scary. Hey, God, that's already scary. Okay. I don't know what these ears are, but creeping me out. They are creeping me out. Let's even go even further. We've got this one. Let's even go a little bit further. Again, using that onion skin. Let's see what we can do here. Let's make the eyes a little more evil. Oh, I don't want that. What is the scariest animal that you can think of? Like, what is an animal that just strikes fear in your heart? I know what mine is. Uh, large baboons. Uh, those things, they are just creepy to me. I believe there's also these plush toys in the store at one time that uh, you would you would like squeeze them or something and then their face would turn really really scary. So but I hopefully hopefully this is, this is more fun to people out there. Not scary. I mean they're just drawings, right? It's not really this isn't really scary. It's just fun to see what we can create using our imagination in there. Let's see what that's like. I <laughs> don't have the ears yet, so it looks a little odd. Let's add the ears first. Should we go with red eyes? That really, uh, I think that, well, I like it. <laughs> oh man. Okay, this is, this is getting creepy. I think the, the whole challenge of turning a panda into a creepy character uh, really made me push myself. And maybe I pushed myself a little too far. This, this is, this is definitely nightmare fuel. <laughs> And white for the whole body, I guess. <laughs> oh, yikes. Okay, now to see the whole thing in action, the real jump scare. Let's see what that looks like. For this one, this one came out pretty cool. So here is Panda Jump Scare. Blink. Oh, I, I did that too fast. Blink. I'm gonna have to insert a lightning sound effect here because uh, I'm not doing it any justice. Let's see if I can, there we go, blink. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's good, that's good. This one might be my favorite, this one might be my favorite. Okay, we got one more spin. Let's see what animal is gonna be our next jump scare. Hey, but before we spin that wheel, if you are into drawing or you would love to learn how to animate like this, or maybe learn how to do some painting or digital art, I have my uh, Harptuniacs members lessons, member art lessons, and I'm gonna give you three lessons for free. All you need to do is hit the link below, fill out the form. You must be 18 to register, but with parents' help or a guardian, go ahead, fill out the form below, and I will send you three free lessons to try. And of course, if you want to, if you want to, you can try Harptuniacs for one week for free. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and spin that wheel. Okay, let's spin this wheel, see what it's gonna be. I think I'm hoping for either 
pony or shark. Either one would be good. Oh, it could be a shark. Oh, yeah. Shark jump scare. Okay, so I need to draw a cute little shark. Start with the eye here. And that's kind of cute. It's a cute little face. Flipper, a little teeth. And then fin. That looks like a dolphin fin. Bring that back a little bit more. There we go. Bring that around. And tail. Who says sharks have to be big, mean, and ugly? There we go. That is one cute shark. I'm going to add a highlight for the eye right there. Let me uh, plop some color in here. There we go. Adorable. So we've got our shark. Now I need to. Uh, do some animation on this. Of course, always scrub to see that it's working. Ooh, that did that go too? F that's good. Kind of sudden, but that's okay. It'll be a faster transformation. I'm thinking a zombie type shark. So let's have like missing eye. Of course, it has to be angry. Bigger nostril. Eye is just missing. Ew. And then let's make these. Uh, it's looking gross. Okay, let's make the mouth much bigger and. Kind of sucked in. Look at these teeth. That is nice. Do, 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 do. This is going to be pretty creepy. Bottom row of teeth. And then put these down like so. This is looking amazing. Rips in the, rips in the fins here. Dun, dun, dun. Now how is it going to, how's it going to scare us? That's the thing I got to think of next. How does it make that, how does it make that scare <laughs> Ooh, look at all these like scratches and scars. Wow. There we go. So we go from this to this. Dun, dun, dun. But how do I make it? It's going to make it jump scare. That's the thing. It's got to have something that really. Let me think about that for a second. Okay, artists. So I hope you're ready for this one. Our last jump scare. Here we go. Ooh. <laughs> This is cool. I really had a hard time with this one because I wasn't sure how to make it jump scare, but uh, we have it swimming here in the water and then this sort of like tide comes in, some murky black water, the screen goes black, then flashes white, and we see the hint of our shark, and then it just starts decomposing as these flecks of whatever this stuff is just starts flying by. And then we have this really nasty decomposing shark. Ew, look at all that muscle and stuff. Ugh, gross. Ugh. So, artists, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was so fun to make. And if you like this video, hit the like button. And if you want to see more content like this, make sure you hit subscribe because uh, that's how you stay in the loop. Because I'm going to be doing more videos like this where I draw and animate characters, doing all kinds of things. Also, I'd love to see you at Harptooniacs. If you want to learn how to draw, animate, digital art, Posca paint. I have my commercial free members only art site and in the link below, you get three free lessons. Have your mom and dad, parent or guardian, fill out the form below and you'll get three free lessons. Plus, if you want to, you can try it for a week for free and there's no obligations, cancel anytime. Okay, art as well. That's it for me and happy drawing. Keep on drawing, keep on creating, keep on imagining, and I'll see you next time.